Hello, how are you today? So I've done my little workouts for my group ladies <clears throat> and I decided to do, I'm going to try a little experiment. Um, on my programs quite often people find breakfast um, quite a difficult thing if they've been used to eating cereals or toast or that sort of thing. So today I'm going to make pea pancakes with scrambled eggs. Now this might not be something you do every morning before going to work or taking kids to school, but maybe it's a weekend thing. So um, I've already got, you literally just use normal, I've got normal frozen peas. So I have, I've already cooked my frozen peas. So I've got a cup and a half in there. So this is probably for about four-ish pancakes. I've got a cup and a half of frozen peas that I've already cooked and they are now cooling. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is get the scrambled egg on. Now, I'm sure lots of you know how to make scrambled eggs. Some people don't. They take a really long time. I was really crap at it for a long time. Um, I'm good now. Anyway, I've got a pot that's got a little bit of butter in. I've got two eggs in there. So it depends, um, it depends how many, you know, people you're doing it for. I tend to use two eggs per person each. And you don't want to put the mistake I used to make was I used to put a lot of milk in and it would get really watery and disgusting and never want to eat it. So you could use, sometimes I quite like just putting a little bit of, we have lactose free stuff in this house, just a little bit of lactose free um, cream in it. You can use uh, milk, you could use an oat milk or uh, almond milk or something like that, a bit of salt and pepper and um, sometimes I put in, oh, it's a bit flying there a bit of cream cheese. I'm not today because we've got um, some feta cheese in the pancake. So I'm just going to get that on. So that's just going to be cooking. And you keep it at a low heat with scrambled egg. Don't get a high heat going because it doesn't like it. So we keep that on a low heat. Right, so let's do our pancake pancakes. So this is a bit of an experiment. So I've got my peas. I'm going to put most of them in, actually no, I'm not, I'm coming back to that. So in this recipe, instead of using flour, we've got um, almond flour and we've got ground flaxseed. Now, I had neither of those, neither, neither. So what I did was I literally stuck, well, I had a few almonds and a few cashews. Okay, I didn't have that many. I literally stuck them in my Nutribullet, let me show you. Okay, so it comes out ground. And I'm going to do exactly the same with flax seeds. Flax seeds are really good ground because then it can get into your digestive system a little bit more. So I'm not going to worry too much about how much I'm putting in because I'll just keep them in a little dish and I can sprinkle them on porridges or bread or whatever. Okay, so I'm not worrying too much about that. And that's one of the great things about Nutribullet. You can use a coffee grinder as well if you're a coffee person. A coffee grinder, you can use that. Right, so you just need to shut your ears for a minute. Goats normally. Goats 
and sheep, which is a little bit better than coming from cows. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We also want a tablespoon of my almond and cashew flour mix, and we want about one and a half of the flaxseed mix. We can add more or take away more, whatever. I'm going to put in some pepper. I'm going to put these pancakes. Salt. I've got, I'm going to put my pan on, so I've got a pan again with some butter. Let me just give the eggs a little stir. They're starting to cook, so just give them a stir so they don't become like an omelette. There we go. Let's get this squish around so that is heating up. Right, so let's whiz up this mix. Here we have our green pancakes and scrambled eggs. And I have, have to have a little bit of smoked paprika on top of my scrambled eggs. So let's give it a taste. Look, tidied up as well. The pancakes do take a little bit longer to cook than normal pancakes. Mmm. That's kind of good. The pancakes by themselves, um, I like them, but... No, I feel like them actually. It's not too strong a feta cheese, but maybe for a kid, 
you'd put some um, cream cheese in, but hmm, it goes really nicely. It actually goes really nicely. Give it a try. Let me know. Just remember, they do cook a little bit longer, take a little bit longer to cook. They don't quite do the bubble thing that normal pancakes do with normal flour. But I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of that breakfast. That's really nice. And that's going to set me up <coughs> brilliantly. So we've got eggs, we've got our protein, we've got our good fats. In the pancakes, we've got our colour, we've got our green. Um, we've got our almond flour. Actually, funny enough, when I was tidying up, opened the cupboard, yeah, there's ground almonds in there. Didn't see them first time around. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I showed you how to do it. So we've got ground cashews and ground almonds in there. Again, brilliant fats. Uh, we've got our flax seeds, really good omega, fla um, omega flax, <laughs> omega fats in there that we all need, and especially ground up, they go into your system um, quicker, which is great. We've got our eggs, we've got our peas. What else do we have in there? A bit of feta cheese. Um, so you're gonna, you've got everything in there. You've got some protein, you've got your fats. It's brilliant. Got a bit of carbs in the um, in the peas, but we do need a little bit. So go and have a try and let me know. We don't need green eggs and ham, we need green pancakes and eggs. All right, have a great day, bye.